Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of uh, Money Moves. My name is uh, Lucci. So we're going to be talking to, and not just talking, but driving around, picking up various people from, you know, various um, sectors, the banking sector, an economist, maybe even a politician, uh, a celebrity. And the whole idea is for us to find out from them uh, what exactly makes their money move. The show is called Money Moves. So we want to find out from all of these people what makes money move for them. That's the basic idea. So join us on the first episode where we're going to be picking up somebody. I don't know who we're picking up, but all I know is I've been told to drive up to Akesha Park uh, and uh, pick up somebody from the entrance of FNB. So let's find out who we're picking up this morning. Oh, it's Mr. It's the CEO. Hey, Luchi, how are, how are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Nice, nice ride. Oh, thank you very much. You want to get a ride? Oh, yes, yeah. oh, yes, oh, yes, thanks. How are you doing? How have you been? I've been good, how have you been? I've been well, man. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen you in a couple of months now. Yes, I think the last time we met was around July. Awesome. Yeah, sometime, that is yeah, a long time. when we were launching, I think we were doing the celebration for the Cash Plus. Yes, that was the last time we met. And between then and now, so much has changed. Yes, a and lot you've has. Added, you've added new products now. New products yeah. and um, personally yeah. first, vaccinated, yeah. boosted. Yeah. So if you don't mind, I'll take off my mask. Oh, you can, because I'm vaccinated. Oh, I'm boosted as well. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Yes, we've added um, a few products. Um, but what's interesting is that um, we're looking more at society now. I'm sure you've seen a lot of activities around society and um, just helping the environment, um, issues to do with um, environmental um, protection, I think are key for us, yeah. you know, to just sustain the business, to sustain society. Um, so we're spending a lot of time, yeah. yeah. So they tell me, um, and we're gonna take a little drive, but they tell yes, me that... that but I, I brought you a little Ooh, gift. Thank um, you very much. This is the Bank of the Changeables. Bank of the Changeables. Can I wear it now? Yeah, or is that, yeah. that going to get me into trouble if I wear it now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that no, looks no, nice. Look that cool. looks very nice. Looks cool so that. the guys told me that you're a big fan of Exile. Is that, yes. is that correct? Or yes. Let's see, let's see if we can get some music on. Is this, oh, is this one like of that. your favorite this tunes? This is one of my favorite tunes. This is... Um, I mean, this is um, around the time that uh, we just started working. Yeah. I don't want to disclose my age, but then you can, you can tell. <laughs> so these were the beats, yeah. All right, well, and and Zambian music then was just, you know, coming into maturity. Yeah. You know, we had Daddy Zimas, and and then the Exile guys just changed the whole, the whole thing. JK and yeah. So, um, what is what is it about? This is mine, right? Yeah, that's yours. Because okay. I already drank mine. Because I start my morning with a cup of coffee. Um, is that how? And I'm curious because between me and you, you're the first CEO that I've ever driven. Uh, in fact, I think you're the first CEO that I've had the responsibility of of making sure nothing happens to them. So, I'm hoping you're certified. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's uh, what's what's the typical? day like for a CEO like yourself? Um, I normally start my day around 4 a.m. Um, do a silent prayer, um, go to the gym. Um, I, I get to the gym around 5, do a bit of cardio. Uh, by 7, 7.30 I'm, I'm in the office. Gym is just across the, the bank, so for me it's quite convenient. So I just walk from the gym into the office and then my day starts. Um, varied things, but most of the things we focus on are around people, yeah. FNB, so uh, my intray is filled with uh, people issues. Um, and when I talk about people issues, I mean my people, you know, my FNB people, uh, customer issues, uh, complaints, um, compliments. Um, yeah, but it, it's, it's varied. Yeah. It depends, you know. Um, other times we have to deal with regulators, you know, central bank meetings, um, and, and the like. Uh, as a good corporate, it's not just about making profits. Uh, it's about investing back into corporate. And currently, we're working on a project of um, what we're calling planting 650 trees. Uh, so we're planting 650 trees, which symbolize um, a 
tree per employee. So we've got 650 people in FNB, so we're planting a tree per person. And we're hoping that our people will then replicate. So FNB, we, we plant a tree for each employee, and that person plants one or more trees. Um, we're also partnering with some schools where uh, we've been doing some, uh, some activities over the past few weeks. And the hope there is that we encourage the pupils to also plant trees. So if you're planting trees at a school where there are 3,000 pupils, um, you plant 50 trees and each student replicates when they get home. You do your simple math, that's 3,050 trees already. So th th that really is taking up a lot of our time. Uh, but it's a good cause, it's a good thing. Yeah, because I mean the environment is important. It is. And especially is. now with this conversation, big conversation around climate change. Yes, climate change and just what we've been seeing, droughts, um, we've been seeing uh, floods um, in some areas. Uh, so it's important that we just take care of our Earth. Yeah. It's the only place we have, unless you wish to go to Mars. <laughs> I, I like that. So at the, at the beginning, just when I picked you up, you said to me, you said, uh, Daddy Zimas is one of those artists that you used to listen to back in the day. And believe it or not, this is what's playing on radio. Oh, wow. This, this bring, brings nice memories, man. Is it, is it university that it brings back? Uh, and starting out in... When starting out. Yeah, yeah when starting out um, in, in the profession, uh, I'm a trained chartered accountant, so just after graduating, you get into the profession. These were the songs we used to listen to. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, I didn't just randomly pick you up. Because, I mean, I came, I came to your building and I thought, you know what, I've been hearing a lot about some of the things that FNB is doing. And one of those things includes uh, this big push towards financial literacy. And so I'm, I'm happy that you're here so that we can have this conversation around financial literacy. Um, what, what do you think are some of those, um, you know, big important messages that young people and just not just young people, but just people who are getting into employment, people already employed. What are some of those key messages that they need to take? Yeah, uh, Luchi, maybe before we even delve into the, the, the messages, I think it's important we, we position, you know, our thought process and what's driving that. Um, Bank of Zambia in their 2020 to 2023 strategic plan, um, which I think they've dubbed around inclusive um, financial sector as well as stability in the financial services tech sector. The two key pillars that they talk about, the first one is financial stability, you know, making sure that you know, the, the whole industry is stable. But the second and more important one is around financial inclusion, ensuring that we have um, as many people as possible included in the financial net, right? And FNB and a lot of banks and financial institutions have taken on um, uh, a lot of activities to ensure that we bring in as many of our citizens as possible um, into the financial aid. And, and you, can, you can actually see from the statistics that, um, that we're talking about now. In 2015, we're talking of over 40% of our population not being financially included. And we're seeing that that has improved uh, just over a five-year period, 30%. Uh, when statistics uh, released this year, we're hoping that it will be below 20%, you know, in terms of those that are not included. Now, we, with all that effort of bringing in so many people in the financial net, I think it's important for us as uh, leaders in the industry to then have certain messages on educating our people on how to manage money. Um, I know as bankers we use these very uh, fancy words, financial management, uh, financial literacy. But for me it's really about money management, money moves, right? Um, and that's why as FNB we would like you know, to take a message out, uh, not just to the youth but to everyone in society, uh, to share knowledge um, on financial products, to share knowledge around their rights, um, um, as uh, partakers, but also what we want to do is to bridge the gap between those that, um, that understand financial uh, management and those that don't. 
And what we would like to do is to have more of a touch of experiential learning where people that have experienced uh, the whole life cycle of, of, of financial management talk to us. You know, talk to the people of Zambia around how to manage finances. So that's what we're trying to do as FNB uh, in this program. Uh, okay. So what else? You, you talked about some of the key um, messaging that you want to take forward to people. Mm -hmm. um, is there one in particular that people need to look out for? Not just one in particular, but like, because it's so broad. I mean, you, you, you talk to people about, look, um, you need to be financially independent. You need to try and understand your finances. You need to make your money move for you, right? But it's, it's, not, it's not that basic, is it? And I, and I won't understand the concepts through a simple car ride, will I? No, I think, I think you can. I, and I, I think to narrow it to one thing, I think will be, we will not do justice. So, Maybe how we need to look at this is, is let's, let's look at the whole financial life cycle. Um, and and we, we have like four things that we talk about. If you talk about, about save or invest, um, there are a lot of models in terms of saving. Um, others would wish to save after spending. You know, you'd say, look, let me first spend my salary and then the residue I invest. We encourage people to save before spending you know, where you look at your income, before you spend, you need to have certain goals, you know, um, that you're saving for, so that you save before you expend. That's the only way that you get committed to that, right? And insurance now is, is a form of investment. Um, we, we need to cover for eventualities, right? So, Luchi, gone are the days where you, you expect your relatives or your bololos to, you know, to, 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 to bury you when you're gone, you need to plan for that, right? Because you know one day you'll be gone, right? And we have all these products in terms of funeral plans, but the issue is, are the people aware about them? And we're hoping that through this pro program, we'll be educating our people on how to access um, such products. The fourth um, element is, um, is credit. And you know, um, issues to do with credit are very topical now in terms of lend or, or borrow yeah. or, or banks not lending, um, especially to the SME sector and also to individuals. So we would like to also touch on that. Um, as you know, credit disciplines are very important. So what we would like to do is to bring in someone from the bank, you know, to talk to the people on the views and, and the stuff that banks look for, you know, when you want to borrow. Um, but also have a touch of um, business people that um, have borrowed from the bank, what they've gone through, and some of the suggestions that they may have for banks so that we improve, you know, the whole credit piece because we believe that it's important that in the whole financial cycle that we don't just talk about transact, insure, uh, or save, but we also talk about um, the key issues of how do people access credit and how do they do that responsibly? Because that really is what you know, we, we're trying to do. Yeah. Okay, so um, you talked a lot about the bank uh, and a lot about what the plans are and how you can you know, spark this conversation. But what about yourself as, as Mr. Biden Long? What about yourself? Um, and I, I, this is an interesting question because of um, how young you started off as an accountant uh, and where you find yourself now as CEO of, of FNB. Are there any lessons that one can learn from yourself and from your own journey? Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a tough one. You're now throwing a, a curveball <laughs> a curve at me. I thought I... <laughs> you thought this was just I, I going to be about... Yes, now you want oh, me to no. pay oh, for no. the ride, eh? Oh, no. This is all about you, sir. Yeah, I think, um, you know, Luchi, personally, there, there are certain lessons that, you know, tough lessons that I've learned. You know, when you're young, there are certain things that you want to quickly acquire, you know, um, you, you're thinking of getting, you know, the best car yeah. um, that you wish to get. But like I this one, for example. Yes, like, yeah. I mean, this, this, is a, this is a beautiful one, but I think this needs to be at the fourth stage of your life cycle, mm -hmm. right? Um, but when, when you're just starting up, you want, you know, the, the, the best, and, and the best is normally just around the things that people see, yeah. right? I, I had a, I think I was fortunate to to work um, um, as an expatriate in Botswana and ESE and 
that's where I learned the importance of, of getting a mortgage first. I can tell you when I left Zambia, issues to do with mortgage were never discussed around the table, you know. Um, so I, I, I ensured that that's the first thing in terms of uh, an asset that you need to acquire, you know, a roof on top of your head. Um, so that helped. Um, but also coming back to Zambia, um, ensure that you get, you get a piece of land, you know, so that you can build um, your retirement home first. Uh, it's important to secure your, your retirement as young as, as you know. You can. As that so I, I'm going to assume that the answer to the debate that young people have, and I see this conversation on, on social media, on Twitter, on, on Facebook, plot versus uh, car first. Where, where, what is it for you? Is it me, a, is a plot? It's plot, yeah. Okay. For me, it's plot. Um, when, when, and things may change. You know, when we, we talk about credit and the whole um, credit space opens up, right? Where it will be easier for you to get a vehicle asset finance, mm -hmm. right? Um, maybe you can consider getting a vehicle because you need mode of transport from home to work. Mm -hmm. But for now, I would, I would, I would go plot, mm -hmm. right? Plot. Slowly you start building the foundation, you know, until you, you, know, you do your, your home. And, and here, Luchi, I think this is where we, we miss it. Normally, we, we build to satisfy certain needs outside of our own, right? I think the, the thing that I've learned is look at your ultimate home. Where, where do you want to retire? You know, how, how would you want to retire? So the, the first home that I actually built is the one I'm living in now. And I think I built it in 2006, wow. seven, yeah. You know, and, and wow. I, my wife um, was quite instrumental in terms of, you know, getting the plans, ensuring that, you know, we had um, a home that we can, you know, retire in uh, one day. So I've got no plans of getting, getting another place, right? The, the same place I built, I think it's fit for purpose. It's fit for purpose for my kids. That time we only had two kids, but I think we, we planned that we may have, have, a lot, have a little have, more. Yeah, two more. Okay. Yeah, so we, we're good there. Yeah, so it's definitely plot. Okay, all right. So um, for for the many and one of the things I didn't ask you is who this is aimed at, who this conversation um, you would like it to impact more than anyone else. I think this conversation on financial management or money moves, uh, Luchi, is for everyone. Yeah. It, it has to touch everyone, every citizen of Zambia. Um, but we recognize that certain topics will speak more to the affluent. Yeah. You know, certain guests that we're going to have on this program will, will speak to, um, uh, to affluent. But we we'll also try to bring in, you know, celebrities to also um, talk maybe to the, to the mass market. Um, on the lessons that they've learned, you know, through the, the financial journey. Uh, so it, it's basically everyone, um, but the, the specific programs may be tailored towards a certain segment uh, of the market. Okay, so now I'm, I have one last question because I'm almost dropping you off and I know you have a meeting at 10 o'clock. So I managed to get you to your, uh, back to your office uh, quickly. But right in time. Let's, so let's, let's segment it. Uh, let's go youth, women, and the rest. Yes. What, what are the key messages for those in those three brackets around um, financial literacy, saving, and just making sure your money moves? Yeah, so, so, the, the, so when you talk about, about the youth, I think the key message that we'll be pushing through will be around save, mm -hmm. right? Because the, the culture of saving, once you start it young, mm -hmm. you know, it gets entrenched. Mm -hmm. So th that will be very key for us, right? Uh, similar with, with the women, right? Uh, we'll talk about save, but we'll also touch on the transact, you know, how responsible you need to be um, uh, in the transact pillar, how the trends are changing now with digital platform, um, with village banking, for mm -hmm. instance, you know, we'll be uh, touching a little bit around, around that. And maybe the rest, that's where, you know, the credit piece, you know, the, 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 the borrow or lend, you know, we'll talk more about the disciplines, you know, on, on, on that topic. 
Um, so for the youth specifically, we'll talk more around the save, um, the discipline of saving, learning to save earlier, uh, learning to invest earlier. Women will talk more about transact, how you know you need to be responsible in terms of transacting now that it's so convenient. You have everything on platform. You can do your online shopping and make a payment right there. Okay. Well, Mr. Biden Longo, I managed to, your secretary won't kill you because you're back in the office before 10 o'clock. 9.59. This, this, was, this was a good ride, uh, Luchi. Uh, thank you so much. No, um, thank you so much for joining us. Morning, you are, you're a great uh, driver. Um, I, I enjoyed the ride no, and I enjoyed the conversation. I just hope that um, our uh, viewers out there will enjoy what's coming. We want to put a touch of fun. You know, normally topics to do with uh, financial management or money management are seen to be boring. Mm. So we want to put, you know, some fun around mm. that. So in terms of the people that we invite, maybe I didn't talk about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important. You know, we have celebrities. Mm. Um, we have uh, uh, institutional leaders, thought leaders. We have business women, businessmen, those people that have gone through the, the whole cycle of the journey so it's going to be interesting and and we we'll, our intention really is to to put this on all social handles our youtube channels our facebook twitter linkedin and also on on our national television znbc and also on selected um, radio stations like like phoenix of course so I, one of the things that i should say now is there's one conversation i'm really looking forward to this is the conversation with the gentleman who got out of debt because I know a lot of pe a lot of people have a lot of people want to borrow. They they find themselves uh, bogged down by huge amounts of money in terms of their debt, and they just don't know how to get out of it. And I, I feel like he has a story that will resonate with many people. We need to do that. We need to do that. Let me give you a challenge. Can you find me that guy so I'll that it's, it. it's as real I'll as possible? Uh, we don't want someone from the bank, yeah. you know, someone out there, uh, out there who can come in and, and have a real conversation yeah. with real people, yeah. you know, around, you know, disciplines of, of coming out of debt. Because, I mean, it, I can imagine, you know, yeah. uh, no, we don't want to be I'll theoretical. Find I'll find it. You know, we want it to be, to be real. It is my yeah. mission. I am on a mission to find it. All right. Mr. Biden Longo, listen, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you very you so much, much indeed. Thank you so much, Luchi. Um, hope um, you enjoy your day. I will. You have a wonderful day. Let me unlock the door so you can get out before they think I've kidnapped you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you. Have a good one. Cheers, Cheers, man. Cheers. Bye. Well, that was the CEO of uh, FNB Zambia, Mr. Biden Longo, talking to us on the first episode of uh, Money Moves. There was so much in that conversation uh, about what you can all expect from uh, this series of programs that we're doing around making your money moves. Uh, this conversation about himself for starters and how he's been able, uh, all things considered, how he's been able to make his money move. Uh, some important lessons as well that we can all pick up about the importance of saving and uh, making that money move for you by having money uh, that is stored away in the bank in a safe place. That's the whole idea of saving, right? And then it's able to grow for you. Uh, so uh, join us again for another episode of uh, Money Moves where we'll be speaking to, once again, somebody else. I don't know who, but we'll be driving around, picking up various people. And so we'll see you in the next episode of Money Moves.